Hey everyone, today we have a get ready with me and trying new makeup. This is a brand that's completely new to me. The name is Florasis or Florisis. I think it's Florasis. Um, you might have seen some other people talk about this, put this on their channels. The packaging is literally outstanding. I'll show you the entire the entire collection that was sent to me. And again, this was sent to me. Uh, Florasis reached out and offered to, to send me some of their their products and this will be me trying them out for the first time. So I haven't I haven't tested them out yet. It's a get ready with me so you guys can see them. So what I have is the cleansing oil and the cleansing oil travel, which I'll show you first. And then the Phoenix makeup palette, which is which is new, the Luminous Glow Highlighter, Sculpting Makeup Palette, Breathable Press Powder, Love Lock Lipstick, Shine Liquid Lipstick and a Do Care Cream to Powder Blush. They also sent me this um, lip care, and it's in this cute, I love the colors. Colors are absolutely beautiful. And it's got like a little spoon with it, and it just, it's just, it smells like peppermint. It's really nice. I'll have all the details below in the description box, links, all that good stuff. So you can um, have all the details. And I also have a code as well that they sent me. So that is also down in the box. I'm wearing the Prada foundation. I've really been liking that foundation. Um, even though it's a soft matte, it just, it works really well for me. The, the color's great. Uh, and you know, I really, really like it. Uh, so let me just show you the packaging for a second. Like this is just, the boxes that this comes in and all of them are just just stunning like the the attention to detail on all of these things is really really impressive and i, I kind of don't want to throw out the boxes but i you know can't keep all the boxes so it, it really is beautiful and the, and the, green, the greenish blue color that they're they're using is in my opinion just stunning all right so let me show you the cleansing oil this is what the bottle looks like and inside hopefully we can you can see there's like a little etched leaf the little flower came in a separate box that's like the stopper for the cleansing oil so this is the cleansing oil i've used it a couple of times i really like it i don't want to you know i'm a little more careful with like skincare so i don't want to say anything just yet but so far i really like it i think it's great and then the they also provided the cleansing oil and these little travel packets. So they're they look exactly like the bottle, but they're little packets, little so you can travel with the cleansing oil. Like how cute is that? I just I absolutely love that idea because um, you know how many times you're like traveling and you want to bring your your cleanser or your whatever with you, and it's like really hard to to pack. Um, all right, so Florisis was born in 2017 by the West Lake in Hanzhou, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I hope I'm close. Hanzhou, China, and it's described a powerful muse revered by poets and painters for millennia. The West Lake remains an inspiration to this day. Since conception, we set out to explore the wisdom of traditional beauty rituals while honoring the philosophy of Chinese aesthetics by combining cutting edge technology with in depth research of nourishing floral essences. Our products unify makeup and skincare. A marriage of science and art. Our products are, and a, are a gift and legacy to inner health, outer beauty, and ancient craftsmanship. And the name is an homage to the power of the natural world and femininity. We envision a goddess standing amongst blossoming flowers. Thus, Flora and Sister became Florisis. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. Florisis. That's really interesting. All right. So... Like I said, there's a lot, they sent me quite a bit. So uh, we'll go through it and we'll try everything, you know, as we, as we go through it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use the liquid lips. I think I'm gonna use the lipstick, but we'll get into that in a minute. So the Phoenix palette, the new eyeshadow palette, that's what it looks like on the inside. So if you've been looking for something with, you know, attention to detail and embossing uh yeah and here's the here's the cover i have to say like it is impressive it is really beautiful 
we'll see how it works, but the, the, the look is stunning. Um, and on the back it says Floor Engraving Phoenix Makeup Palette, and it's got the shades. Uh, Luan Feather, Nightingale, Whistling Thrush, Egret, these are all like birds, Golden Phoenix, Silver Heron, Dusky Warbler, I think it's a Warbler, um, Brown Headed Gull, and Swinhoe's Pheasant. Hopefully that's correct. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, we'll do the, the eye look last. Um, there is powder, which I'll show you. There's a little plastic on it, right? So I'll keep that. Again, the packaging is just, it's beautiful. There is highlighter. You can see it's got like this, there we go. And then we have the blush, like the dew blush. This reminds me a little bit of the Chantecaille blush, which is kind of interesting. Um, the palette, which has blush, highlighter, and bronzer. Face palette. And makeup, makeup relief palette. It's interesting. And then the cover again. The packaging is outstanding. The lipstick cases are the most ornate things I've, <laughs> I've ever seen. Um, there's a lock on the top. You press down on the lock and the lipstick comes out at the bottom of it. And then you press it back in. And then the liquid lipsticks look like this. All right, let's start Let's start with this, which is, let me make sure I have the names. Like I said, I'll have it all down below, but it's the Eastern Beast Sculpting Makeup Palette. Yes. And this is one of their best sellers. It says four in one palette for every dimension, travel friendly palette made to elevate your base, lift and refine, da 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 da. Buildable, talc free, Microfine formula, just looking, see if there's anything else. Satin pink champagne highlighter, matte soft peach blush, subtle light beige highlighter, and warm, soft warm taupe contour. Not bronzer, contour. Interesting. All right, so let's try that. Let's try the, let's try the contour first. Now, you know, if you've watched my channel before, and by the way, hi, if you haven't watched before, hi, my name is Jennifer. On my channel, we talk about all things luxury, beauty, fashion runs the gamut. I was a Chanel makeup artist half a lifetime ago, and I upload three times a week, hopefully, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and notification bell so you'll always know when new videos are coming out. All right, let's see. Um, so as you know, if you've watched, I am not a big, like proponent of multi palettes. Um, I think it's a great idea for travel, but the reason I don't like them is because I feel like you have to be more specific, like about where you put the brush. You know, I like just being able to just like run my brush over the whole thing. But that being said, if you're somebody who likes a multi use palette, which I do get, you know, Hourglass has like a ton of them. That's actually pretty nice. It is more of like that contour shade, like a taupey shade. I've talked about contour versus bronzer like a million times, but you definitely want something that's a little bit cooler. All right, let's take, let's take the um, pinker highlight here. Oh, that's very pretty actually. Hmm, okay. Take the blush. Now I will use the, um, the dewy blush as well. But this one is really nice. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you. That's actually quite pretty. Let's try it on the back of my hand. Now you're gonna ruin the embossing pretty quickly, but that is true with any product that has embossing on it. I mean, it looks really cool, but let's face it. If you're buying it for that, it will, once you use it, be gone. So that's the contour shade, not the blush. It's like a coral. It's very pretty. And the contour shade is perfect for me, actually. 
it's gonna work really well on someone who's like fair, maybe light. I don't know if it would work very well on a, on a deeper skin tone. And let's try the highlighter. This is the pink one. They described it as satin pink champagne. It is really pretty actually. And then the other one is light beige. These highlighters are pretty, uh, pretty powerful. That's the light beige highlighter. It says it's, it's uh, subtle, but I mean, and this one's more shimmery, definitely, the pink. The, the light beige one has more of a matte. That's probably why they're calling it subtle. Interesting. How much is this? $49. Let's take the dewy pink. Yeah, it's like a cream. That's the color. This is described as Floral Dew Care Cream to Powder Blush. And the shade is Peony Rose Blush. Okay. There's an autumnal rose, peachy rose, tipsy rose, drunk red, fantasy. There's a bunch of ones. Okay. $23. Let's take a little bit. Yeah, it does feel creamy. Oh, yeah, that's that's actually really nice. Um, all right, now this one, it's in here. This is the Twin Lotus Luminous Glow Highlighter. Let's see. I mean, I feel like I have enough highlight on, but let's... And this is in shade Amber Glow. Liquid to baked. Translucent lightweight highlighter. Blends like liquid. Forms like powder. Interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. That is... That's pigmented. That would be more like blush on me. But it's beautiful. Keeps trying to focus on my face. I'm like, no, not my face. Yeah, that's really nice. It does feel really nice. I'll have to play around with this one a little more. But you can see like that is a, this is a pigmented, this is a pigmented highlighter. Now this is their Flawless Jade Breathable Pressed Powder. And I'll have all the details guys in the uh, box below. Let's see, talc free. They have it in lavender. Oh, that's interesting. I might want it in lavender. And voile, or voile, voi, V-O-I-L-E. This is voi. Translucent matte for all skin tones, creating a misty matte and airy makeup. The lavender one sounds pretty. Let's try it with this little puff that I have. I'll just use it under the eyes for now. Huh. That actually looks really nice. All right, let's put on the lipstick and then we'll uh, we'll go to the, the eye palette, the Phoenix. So this shade, first of all, I have to show you the bullet for these lipsticks. Again, the, the attention to detail that's in these is ridiculous. Blooming Rouge Love Lock Lipstick. Now they actually sent me two of them. Let me see what shades these are. Velvet mattes, both of them. And one is my one and only, and the other is Terracotta Romance. All right, let's see. This is Terracotta Romance. I'll swatch them both. And then this one, I have to say, like, if you have this in your purse, you definitely, like, notice it. I mean, it's, this is like, the deeper color, but these are both velvet mattes. Let's, let's put them here. Actually feel pretty comfortable for a matte. That's interesting, but they are velvet, so. You know, I'm gonna go for the terracotta, if you've watched me. All right, let's try it out. They don't feel uncomfortable. They actually feel pretty smooth. We'll see how it sits on my, on my lips. Definitely stains. 
They all do, actually. Got colors over. All right, and they are, um, how much are the lipsticks? <laughs> Nine shades, floral infused. I don't smell anything. Look, I don't smell any scent. $49 for the lipsticks. Okay. So far, guys, I have to say, everything is performing really well. I don't have any, I don't have any concerns. Okay, Phoenix palette. So I'm gonna swatch this. This is very ornate. Ornate is the best way to explain it. Um, whoa. It was way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, all right, that's, that's a deep blue there. Okay, yeah, these are, um, I don't know why, but I just thought it wouldn't, okay, that's terrible swatching, hold on. All right, guys, I'm gonna swatch over here. Yeah, this blue, that's a beautiful blue. Like, that's way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, and I'll look up the details in just a second. All right, those were all the shades. You can see some of them are like sparkly toppers. Some of them are more like mattes. I mean, this blue is like, that's an intense blue. Interesting. All right, so let's see. This is the new palette that they have. Let's see what it says. All right, Floral Engraving Phoenix Makeup Palette. Beauty and Quiet Wisdom of Patient Resilience. Floral Engraving Phoenix Palette. Honors a simple yet powerful myth of all birds pay homage to the phoenix. Infused with extracts of skin brightening peony, ox, uh, antioxidant rich gold, pot marigold, and smoothing pearl powder. This palette nourish, nourishes as it beautifies. Talc free with minimal fallout. Microphone particles arranged in a unique 3D uh, lattice structure. Glide over skin to form an ultra smooth buildable layer of comfortable pigment. The peacock, which is the blue, is a dark cyan, a dark cyan glitter. Canary is an orange bronze satin. I'm gonna assume it's this way. Um, canary orange bronze satin. Warbler matte medium beige. Thrust gold rose satin. Yes, that's a gold rose. Um, rose gold satin. Phoenix matte red with a hint of golden glitter. Egret pink white shimmer. Swan matte terracotta orange. Uh, finch maroon bronze satin and swallow um, matte dark brown. This is peacock. This is canary. That's warbler. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah. See, these are really, these are very pigmented, guys. And they do feel really nice on the eye. They get some fallout there, though. Not tap off my brush, though, so I'll do that next time. But yeah, that's a very, that's a very pigmented and very smooth matte, actually. Wow, okay, that was easy. All right, let's take, let's take this like purpley pinky shade here. What was this one? Maroon bronze satin. And I'm just gonna, into this a little bit, put it over that. Not a lot, because I don't wanna make it too cool. Going very lightly, but I just wanna try to show you more of the shades if I can. These are very smooth. Wow, okay. Very smooth, very pigmented. Hmm. All right, um, the rose gold satin, the shade here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Wow, that's like glitter. I mean, it's not like bad glitter, but it's super sparkly. Didn't do any fallout. Like I don't have fallout from it, but I mean, that's impactful. In fact, you know what? I'll take a little bit of the, the highlighter that I didn't um, use in this one, the one that I said was like matte-ish. Um, this one here. Just put a little to kind of raise your, if you're ever looking to like raise your face up a little. Wow, okay. Let's take the brown, I think it was canary, orange, brown, bronze satin. Line the eyes with that. And then I'll take the blue, put a little bit of the blue on. Not a lot, so I'm taking this shade here. Not a lot of the blue. Yeah, this is very, very pigmented and super smooth. Wow, okay. I'm just putting this on the outer corner and then pulling it in. I'm gonna put a shade over it so you won't really see it as much. 
All right, let's take the, let's take the purple shade. This like, what should I do the green? Let's do the green. Let's do the green on the eye. The mint shade. Cause again, I want to try to show you, wow, okay. All the shades as much as I can. And the mint is more like sparkly. It doesn't have a ton of opacity. But it's really pretty. And then I'll put the blue. I'm kind of padding because this is more of like a, that's really nice actually. Very sparkly look. All right, now let's take a little bit of the blue. I don't want to use a lot of it because it's dark cyan glitter. I think it's like, it's like blue. I mean, this thing is cobalt. This is a much more colorful look than I would do normally, but I want you guys to seal as many of the shades as possible. I'm going to blend it into the green here. Just going in very lightly because I don't want to blend it away and I also don't want it to overtake the look. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite beautiful. Sparkly, very shiny. All right, let me put on a little bit of mascara and let's talk about the collection. Okay, a little bit of mascara on. So I have to say guys, I am actually very impressed with the entire collection. I'm gonna swatch the two liquid lips. I'm not gonna use them, but I'll make sure the, the shades are down below. I'm not a liquid lip person, but these actually look, they actually look pretty nice. Um, so the products work beautifully. The blush, both blushes actually, I think are really nice. Um, these are the two liquid lips. We'll see how it dries on my hand. The uh, face palette, and again, I'll have all the names correct down below, but this blush was beautiful. This pink highlighter is more like shimmery. This one, the sort of matte highlighter is great for the face. Like if you're looking to like put a little above your brow or like accent your eye or on your nose, it's not sparkly, it's not shiny. It just kind of lifts, which is a nice, that's a nice touch. I do, I do really like this. And the, and the products are very finely milled. They left a beautiful look on the face. They went on great. Um, and they don't show texture. They look really nice. This reminds me a lot of the Chantecaille. It is a creamy, it's a very creamy blush. It's a cream to powder. It's a beautiful shade. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I think that is going to be like a go-to for me because I like a, a creamier formula and that shade is just really pretty. I kind of have that like right here on my cheeks. Um, the pressed powder worked really well. I put it under my eyes. I'll kind of put a little bit on my face, just sort of like all over, but it does kind of mattify, which is not like my favorite look. Uh, I like more of a dewy look, but under the eyes, you know, I love, <laughs> I love that because you don't want, you don't want the mascara to transfer. You don't want your shadow to transfer and you don't want to have, you know, anything under the eye. But, um, I will say, I think it actually looks really nice and it's very light. It's all like, it, it all feels extremely light, which is nice. Um, this highlighter is very, very pigmented and on me it's more like a blush, as you saw. That, I mean, it's really pretty, but I think that would, I'm gonna have to play around with that one to see how that might work for me. The lipsticks, velvet, feels very comfortable still on my lips. And as I've said, the cases are more than ornate. I mean, these are, if you're looking for like packaging, that's, I mean, I don't, you know, and there's the press on the top. So yeah, those are definitely over the top. The lip, bo the lip balm that I put on before was actually quite nice. It has like a, like a peppermint feel. The liquid lips I'll play around with a little bit more. And this Phoenix palette, I have to say guys, like it's, uh, it's incredibly pigmented. There is some fallout, but not a ton, uh, no more than, you know, any other. Uh, the shades, the shimmery shades are very shimmery. The mattes are um, 
really pigmented and light and feel comfortable and look good. And like I said, this is a more colorful look than I would normally do, but it all looks really nice in the eye. I'll be interested to see how it wears on the eye. Um, yeah, and the price point is, is very reasonable. So this is the first impression. I obviously wanna play around with these really a lot more, but, and I'll give you more details about the cleansing oil the more that I use it. Um, but I think it actually looks really nice. Love to get your thoughts on what you think of how it looks, how it applied, and I'll continue to play around with the different products. Thank you so much to Florisys for sending these to me. It was incredibly kind and uh, I really do appreciate it. And the cleansing oil, I'm really excited. I mean, I'm excited about all of it, but I, I love a good I love a good cleansing oil. And the fact that there's the little packets that I can travel with is just awesome. All right, so let's see. Okay, so that's still tacky. Interesting, okay. Doesn't feel as uncomfortable as I thought it would. Let me take the lighter shade, and just put it over this. Is that the lighter shade? Can't tell. It does have a little bit of a smell to it. I'm just really sent that like right now. Everything that has a scent. Huh, that actually, now I do have a lipstick underneath it, but it actually feels, it actually feels nice. Hmm, I'll have to try that. I'll have to like report back, but it actually feels, it feels okay. Weird. Um, huh, color's nice too. I mean, it's on top of the lipstick right now, so. But I'll play around with it some more. I'll be interested to hear, like, if you guys are familiar with this brand, if you've used it, what your thoughts are of everything today. I think, you know, it actually looks, the finished look looks quite nice. My skin looks pretty flaw, I mean, not flawless, but like pretty good. Um, this is the Prada foundation, which like I said, I really like, but I think it looks really nice. Hmm. Okay. Great. Again, thank you so much to Florisys for sending this over. Can't wait to hear all your thoughts and comments down below. I'll make sure all the details are in the description box. And of course, I will keep playing with all these things and have updates soon. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.